put in perspective. I always want to do an episode like just explaining how we got here, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We we worked we worked hard <laughs> to to get to this point. And this has not been easy to put this podcast together. Um you know, I'm just speaking from my perspective. I I'm, I'm quite sure you feel the same way. You know, it's been a long time coming. I mean, it's still early, but it feels like we've been doing this for a minute now. What do you think? The podcast? Yeah. If it is, it, I don't know. If it, it feels like it's been longer than what it what it has been, no one is not really, but it feels like that to me. I know I'm. I still get like, I used to get nervous, a little nervous. Yeah, me, yeah, like, me like, too. The record button comes on, and it's, and the more you do it, you know, it's just like anything else in life. The more you do it, the more um, I get used to it, but it's still, it's going. It, I don't, it does feel longer than three months. Yeah, damn. Okay. It's, it's only yeah. three months, three or four months now. Three months. We had it to four months in a couple of weeks, or maybe wow. next week. Yeah, I know the middle of yeah. middle of January. Yeah, and we definitely. Yeah, a lot more Nets talk before Knicks talk, and then now it's just like, nigga, that's too many. That's <laughs> that's too many. <laughs> yo, listen. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yo, we were really wilding out, man. Like we first did this, but you know what? Yeah, we 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 were trying to cover every damn Nets game, and it was working, but it just. Personal, you know, family wise, like just schedule wise, work wise, it just was not gonna work. We couldn't do that long, <laughs> a long time coming. I mean, I can see if you know, just situations a little different, but nah, as is, it was no way. And we got our feet wet, like yes. we learned, look all the banner stuff, all the stuff yes. how we got, you know, everything, all these banners, like our names is on here. I could put, you know, uh. This band we getting when we getting started, you know. See, I, I didn't know how to do that before, and just and now that you know, we interviewed uh, Chris and Eddie. Yeah. Uh, for Christina and I, go cop that. I think it's, yeah, a, yep. it's available everywhere yet, or just Amazon and Audible, or um, Amazon. I, I believe. Uh, I think in the next few weeks it's gonna be. I think by June it's gonna be everywhere. It's June. The Christ- yeah. the Barnes and Noble. And Barnes and Noble is gonna be available everywhere. As of right now, it's in uh, Amazon and and Kindle, so the Amazon products. Yep. So interviewing them, you know, getting all these banners together and and like getting the shakes out of like you still feel like you have to say something because the microphone's on and everything. <laughs> like you know, you don't want to sound stupid, but to be to be right. honest, that's the best thing to do. The best thing the that's where we are right now. Like I was gonna talk to uh, I was gonna say it earlier, but this is like where chat rooms were before. You could put up to 10 people. It's a stream yard. They don't give us no yep. money for this. Uh, we're working on our, our, our two buddy link that's coming up next. Yo, shout out to Dorian, Dorian82. Dorian82. He's the reason why I, I'm, I'm put on to a lot of stuff with this. The, I got on, I was skeptical about two buddy, but then he popped yeah. about it nowhere and started talking about it. Yeah, and, I've seen the video. Yeah, and, and I'm just like, all right, if he said, because his. He seems real at the end of the day. He's very aggressive. <laughs> but he, he sounds like me sometimes, but he's like ultra aggressive. But he's yeah. he's hilarious. But beyond anything else, he's informative. Like he's telling you, like, yo, bro, did we that's why I, I was talking to my wife earlier about like where we are in this country and how people just bitch and moan about whatever. People are dying. Like they want to build a wall, whatever, whatever side you stand on with that. People are climbing walls, going through tunnels. Going through hoops, throwing their kids over that damn wall just to come to this country. Like this, yeah. this, this, it's a lottery ticket over here, and you know, a lot of our, us first generation Americans, we fuck it up bad. Like you don't, have, you lose the immigrant mentality. Like just to go on YouTube and do this and have a chance to make bread, this is just. Yeah. You just gotta have the. You even if you're shy, get rid of your shyness on here. Like you know, yo, it's it doesn't it's make just, sense. To it's insane bro it's the american dream like you can utilize like i just think like all the tools that in technology we have nowadays you cannot tell me there's no way you can monetize what you do on a daily basis there's people literally getting on the internet just recording them brushing their teeth their morning routine and have like fucking a million followers man it's insane i'm that's no bullshit like people have gotten famous over just you know showing it every day going to work 
their daily routine, man. It, it's ill, man. So, yeah, like, why not us? That, that was always our thing. Like, why not us? And I think that was that was my thinking going into January of 2021. Just, you know, we've been doing this. We want to do this podcast for three years. Like, me me and you, Ray, we, we met. Our brother Mel, he brought us together. You know what I'm saying? He thought he always had the vision, like, yo, we should do a podcast. You know, came up with the name, put it in perspective. And we were like, cool. So, you know, our, st- our origin story is, you know, we connected on the Marco Polo app. I don't know if people are familiar with the Marco Polo app. Basically, like uh, the, you know, video walkie talkie app. You send a message, you go back and forth. It's like a big group. You're going to have many people as you want on there. And we connected that way. And we were basically what we're doing now, the topics we talk about, sports, hip hop, whatever, life, you know, finances, all that stuff. We were doing on the Marco Polo app. The only thing was we wasn't putting out for the general public. Now, like, you know, we, we finally went forth with this platform and finally got our feet wet, got a little comfortable in front of a camera. You know, we put in, you know, our perspective out into the world. And three years, man, like, it felt forever. I just thought that if we didn't do it this year, we would have never probably did it. It was like three years too too long for me. That's and how you felt. Now yeah. Or now. now or never. <laughs> now or never, bro. That you know what I mean? That's the model. Now or never. Like if we don't do it now, it ain't gonna never happen. And I'm just glad that we finally got this shit cracking. You know, and uh it feels good, man. It feels good. I feel like a weakling trying to crack, trying to crack open this bottle. Yeah, that's how we started it, man. Um, I met Mel about nine years ago, eight years ago. Yeah, we were, we were working at the same location, and we were talking about doing podcasts. Then it was just a matter of it wasn't this easy, even though we had you know cameras and everything. I don't remember people talking about Streamyard. I don't remember there being a YouTube live. So now it's just like this is the new social media. And me and Mel just got cool. We had a very, you know, similar, a similar mindset about life and just um at least being able to to converse about different things. Like me and Mel, the first thing we what made me even continue a conversation with him, I always mention it, is we we talked about Elon Musk and Tesla and to see where they are now is crazy. So all these things, that's how me and Mel are going back and forth. Like, what do you mean? And from then it was just like. We would talk about everything. How how I was I love Patrice O'Neill back then. That must have been yeah. that meant Patrice O'Neill was alive. And then when he died, I was messed up over that. So he would talk about like I would say like Kevin Hart really ain't that funny. Like he's just a star, but he ain't funny like that. And he was and we would argue about that. And it was to the point where we would stay mad late at work and just, just talking. Talk. Yeah, and people would, would come around us and we would talk mad shit. People were leaving work on the way out. They would watch us. Some of them would stop and talk to us like I gotta go. So from then we were doing it. And I that's when I'm you know, me and that's how me and Mel got cool. And yeah. then I knew you about three years ago because he said, you know, yo, B is my man B is when I want to start the podcast with. And we had a couple of other uh candidates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They may so make some good. appearance, but but the people who were the most persistent, it gotta be you and myself always on the polo going back and forth about everything. everything. We have and we haven't gone full fledged with that yet. Mel nah. is really the instigator. <laughs> that's what i'm saying like he's he's the uh he's the missing link he's definitely the the link you know what i mean between us um yeah man me and mel like he's he's family for me he's like he's like my brother man he's practically my brother um i knew mel since i knew mel for years for long since we was kids i mean we we didn't get close we didn't really become like close friends until like the summer of 99 but i knew mel for years, like when we were single digits playing ball in the park, the park, the park in our neighborhood in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. And, uh, you know, he, he lived up the block in the peas around there. And, um, you know, and yeah, when we got in high school, we really became cool freshman year. And then he actually moved like right around the corner from my house. And his apartment building was like right in the behind my apartment building. So, you know, my backyard was essentially his backyard almost. So when we were out there in the back, like he would look out the window and he'd be like, oh, B, what up, man? Like we knew each other from school. And then me and him became cool because he moved around the corner. And then after that, we just go to the court, play ball. 
he he hung up on hung on my block for like the whole summer '99, and that whole summer it was just me and Mel. Like we were gonna play ball, we was gonna go get something to eat, you know, looking at girls or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We just was doing it all, man. Ever since then, we've been inseparable. You know what I mean? It's like my brother from another, and um, yeah, man. Like so, fast forward a few years, and he always wanted to do this podcast. He knew I always wanted to do a podcast. Just, you know what I mean, my passion about certain topics, especially hip hop or sports. Like he was like, yo, B, you'd be perfect to do this. And he always he always told me I should do a podcast. A lot of other people told me I should always do one. It just never happened. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't it wasn't in the cards, as they say. I mean, and I just I guess as I got older, I just realized like, yo, I gotta make those cards. I gotta write those cards. I gotta make those cards myself. And I just felt like what all, us coming together as a trio and us wanting to have an idea of trying to really do this, it was like now or never. And just everything with COVID last year, you know, I was being, I was home most of the year last year, just you know, from work. And, you know, you get a different perspective on life when you're away from a certain situation. And you're like, yo, listen, like, yo, what are we doing? These not, this not a five shit, ain't it? Like, yo, what happened to just, you know, following your dreams and, you know, I know a lot of people say don't get caught up in your dreams or your passions too much and, you know, try to stay safe. But I just got tired of people controlling my destiny. I was like, I got to re- I got to write my own shit. I was like, if, if I don't do it, someone else is going to be writing it for me. And that was just my inspiration, like for us to finally just like, yo, let's do this. Whatever happens with this podcast, wherever it goes, just to say that we actually did this, we manifested it is a blessing and it means everything to me. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, I'm happy we doing this together. You know what I mean? So we finally, this is where we at. And I'm happy where we at with it.